Widenauer with the Steam Power Classroom. Welcome back to my series of book reviews. For the last couple of episodes, we've talked about books um, about Greek mythology, and today I thought it would be a nice extension to go to the Odyssey. So all these books today will help your kids study that fantastic story, the Odyssey. We're going to start with The Incredible Voyage of Ulysses, and this is by Bemba Landman. And um, this is a very unique book. I, I, like, um, I like the illustrations so very much. They're, they're very creative, a little bit different than what you find in a lot of either graphic novels or picture books. Um, they're, they're, they're rich, they're beautiful, they're very different. Um, and it's a, just a, a nice, this is again for kind of your younger kids, um, ah, maybe not even younger kids. I think it'd be fun at any age to read this along with your other studies of, of the Odyssey and get some of these images in your head. They're gorgeous. So I really recommend that one. Um, while we're with Bemba Landman, she or Landman, sorry, um, she also has the fate of Achilles. Of course, this goes back to the Trojan War, and um, you might want to check that one out too. It's t told in a, a similar style. So there's those. Um, then we're going to go to the Iliad and the Odyssey, by uh, retold and illustrated by Marcia Williams. I'm a Marcia Williams fan. She has a lot of really great books, all kind of told in this um, this fun style. It's not really a graphic novel. It's not really a picture book. It's somewhere in between. It's more like a comic strip. Um, the illustrations are sometimes just kind of kind of ugly. I mean, some of the faces. She's really good at making characters beautiful and ugly and funky and quirky. And I don't know. I just love her. I think she's great. And she does a she does a fantastic job of combining modern text with references to um, to more so some of the original uh, original or, uh, origins as well and um, lots to look at in this book so you have you've got the regular narrative and then you're going to spend some time in the pictures too because there's a lot of stuff a lot of conversations going on in the pictures even in your um, the borders there's references to the action that's that's taking place can't recommend her highly enough. There's so much of her stuff, so go check her, her out and also this particular book. The next one I'll show you is The Odyssey by Gillian Cross. And if it's Gillian, I'm sorry. Um, but this one also, this is a, a larger book for either um, a lap book or, or a read aloud. And this one's kind of a little bit more awkward, sorry. Um, we've got some combinations of, of illustrations that are lovely and then just plain text. The font is kind of, um, yeah, it's just interesting. I mean, I think they were, they were very, they paid very close attention to the art artistic nature of the book. Can you see those pictures? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful book. I would highly recommend that one. Great way to learn the story. And then if you can't get enough or you want another option or you just want to read more about it, try The Adventures of Odysseus. And this is by Hugh Lupton. Uh, and some other folks. I like these illustrations too. They're very gorgeous. I'm just going to show you some of these pictures. Yeah, so, I mean, I just, I think they're, they've got some really nice options. And if you want more of a chapter book, or just, you know, something that you can stick in your back pocket, you might want to try Mary Pope Osborne of Magic Treehouse fame. She also wrote Tales of the Odyssey. And this is a six, I think it's a six volume uh, set of books to go in, uh, going through his, his adventures. And just a, just a chapter book, kind of similar in how many words on the page and, and the ease um, of Magic Treehouse. But of course, Tales of the Odyssey, probably a little bit darker than Magic Treehouse. Um, so check those out too. Those would be really another great option. So I hope you enjoyed those, and next week we'll, we'll keep going with our mythology uh, selections, but I think we'll check out something different. We'll come back and see. Thanks.